going to show you how to make a sub theme in Drupal 7 and we're going to use the Omega theme. So the first thing we want to do is go out to Drupal and we're going to do a search for Omega looking under the themes. And you can see it's right on the top of the list. Once you get to the page there's lots of good information here but scroll down to the bottom and then you'll download the Omega theme. And notice where we're putting it. I'm putting it in my web folder and here's my site, Drupal 5 Minutes. And we go into the Sites folder. You don't want to put anything in the Themes folder. That'll get overwritten. So we go into Sites, All Themes and we store the zip file in there. So I've got the file downloaded. Now I'm going to go look in my Finder, or if you're using Windows, you can look at Windows Explorer. And again, go into your web folder, into your site, and we're going to Sites, All, Themes. And we're going to extract that folder. So if you're doing a, a .zip, you would, you would just extract all in Windows. Now here's our, th our theme, our Omega theme. So look in the starter kits and you want to take out that whole folder. So we're going to make a copy of the Omega HTML5. We're going to go back into the main themes folder and make a copy of that. So we're in our themes folder and we make a copy of it. And right away we're going to rename it to whatever we want to call the, the, the theme. I'm going to call it Drupal 5 Minutes which matches my site. Inside of this sub theme we're going to go in and we're going to change the name of the info file. Now this is the metadata for the theme. And I'm going to call it Drupal 5 min. In the CSS file, we have four different CSS files. And this is where you'll put the customized CSS that you want to change on your theme. And where it's all caps, where it says your theme, we're going to change it to the same name, Drupal 5 Min. Notice you want to match your capitalization, so I keep everything lowercase. And we'll do that for all four themes, all four CSS. And you can see that the Omega theme is set up to accommodate a mobile device, a tablet, or a desktop device. So that's why we have our three CSS here is to give us the, the different uh, platforms. If you look in these files, you'll see that they're all empty. And this is where you'll put your CSS that will override what's in the main theme. Here we're going into our image. And I'm just adding some text on our image. I'm using Sketch here. And so I changed the screenshot.png and added a headline on it so when we see it inside of Drupal, we'll know that that's our sub-theme. Otherwise, all the themes look the same. Now, we're going to go back into our info file. And I'm just using my Coda editor. And I'm going to change the name again to Drupal 5 Min. And I'm going to do my description. And I'm going to keep a link here to the Omega theme so we can always go back and look at all that documentation. They've done an excellent job on documenting what you need to do. With this being a child theme, it's very important that you delete these two lines. So there's a comment there and the hidden in the starter kit we want to delete. Don't be too concerned about all these regions. I'll show you that in just a minute. But that sets up our pages so we can change our pages into different blocks and, and areas. So now I'm going to go out to my, my site. I'm going to log in. So I'm logging in as administrator.
and I'm going to go to appearance and you can see here's our image that we doctored up so you can see our theme you can set it to default which already happened and here you can see all those regions that were in the info file you can go into the debugging and you can turn off those those pink overlays if you want to see what the page is so you can see we, we uncheck these you can turn them on for maybe just the administrator if you want you can you can choose however you want your overlays to show and if I go back to my home icon then you'll see this is basically how the page will look so this gets you ready to use your sub theme it contains everything in the parent theme that we downloaded from the Drupal site and then you can um, customize the CSS files as you need to to make your theme appear as you need. I'm going to turn my overlays back on so I can see what they look like. Go back to my home page and then this will help me use the grid system as I develop and design my page. Thank you.